Pebbots. What are you doing? All right, guys, check it out. That's what we got. Uh, two Freightliners, two Freightliner chassis. I, I guess these are going to the Amish. I was thinking we were picking up from Amish here, but it's the Amish at the drop off. Yeah. Um, so I haven't put out my video yet of me building the brackets on the box and me showing the welds. And I'm ready for the professional welders to be like, oh, that looks like shit. Well, let me show you what a uh, let me show you what a professional weld looks like. That is a professional weld. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I can tell you there's penetration on this plate, but there's no penetration from that plate to this. Same way over here. Look at that. These are probably I don't know how much these would cost, honestly. That's scary. I've got one more chain to put on. They needed me to move out of the way. Then we have to strap these boxes down. I'll show you guys after we're done. All right. All right, all done. So they said they normally only put uh, the four corners on these things. But there's, uh, there's a few things I live by when I'm strapping or chaining something of how much I use. So you've got weight, you've got length, and then you've got scary factor. And that tells me how many chains and binders or, or straps I have to use. And so since this was a little scary, I, I, I don't know, just something about the way they have the block sitting up there and everything else. I mean, look at all these trailers loaded. They don't even have those chained down. I guess the driver has to come out and do that. But, uh, yeah, so we've got, for each one, we've got two chains, four binders at each corner. And I figured I'd just throw some straps over top of it just, just to help me sleep at night, you know? Because it, uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm just a little nervous, just a little nervous about it, to be completely honest. So, that shouldn't bounce around. Yeah, so, uh, these... These are going to uh, Indiana. I guess uh, we're going to take them to some Amish. And uh, we've got a load picking up. So the load I was talking about earlier, the, uh, the broker completely ghosted Mason on. Like, it was supposed to be going to Kansas, picking up in, in Indiana somewhere. And uh, the guy told Mason, he's like, yeah, I'm not the, uh, I don't have the right to actually, like, send out Raycons or anything. He said, so I'll have to get my boss to do that. So I'll call you back. And, uh, I don't know, I think, like, maybe 45 minutes went by and Mason got a little nervous and he called up the guy. He's like, hey, man, are we still good for that load? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. You, you still have it, don't worry. The guy is just, uh, the guy lives in Colorado. And uh, he's probably out there smoking some of that, some of that legal marijuana out there, you know. And Mason told me he's like, man, I, I hope that's not the case. I don't want, I don't want to have to deal with some, some guy that's going to be stoned or something trying to deal with this Raycon. 
so like another hour went by we didn't hear anything we didn't hear anything and i'm like mason did these guys even pass because you have to run the broker's dot number through your factoring company to make sure that they pass he's like yeah 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 they passed they passed you know and we're, we're creeping up on like almost 12 o'clock and he's like man i don't know what's going on with this i was like yeah this this doesn't sound right something's not right i was like who's the broker and he's like um it's total something i'm like total something he's like yeah it's like total quality logistics and i'm like you idiot no wonder they're not calling us back and this lens just I'm like no wonder they're not calling us back dude these guys are shysters he's like what do you mean i'm like i made an entire video on this brokerage company on how they try to screw these drivers i said they're probably doing to you exactly what they did to me and if you haven't seen the video basically i called in on a load and one of the tql brokers told me he's like look i just booked booked that load with another driver it's paying this but if you can beat his price I'll give it to you instead and that's when I went off on the guy I was like you know how how dare you try to get me to undercut another driver and be willing to cancel on another driver like that oh drivers do it to me all the time I'm like I don't care dude I don't care I'm like have you ever driven a truck or owned a truck because he was like oh drivers are always telling me they got flat tires and they have to cancel the load or whatever I'm like dude it happens I can't guarantee you every time somebody called in and told you they had to cancel the load that it was legitimate but your answer isn't to go back on on other drivers and try to screw them out of loads and try to get other drivers to beat their rate I'm like I won't even do that I have it recorded and everything you guys can go back and watch a video if you guys haven't seen that video yet so I told Mason I'm like dude I've told you we do not pull for TQL ever I will if if TQL is the last brokerage in the world, I will sell this truck and I will be done with trucking. I won't deal with it. The guys are shysters, all of them. You can't trust any of those TQL brokers, man. Because, and the reason I say that, you guys are probably like, oh no, I've got this one guy named John that's amazing. Whatever. Okay, so I tried to call in on TQL and report that broker, right? And I was on the phone for like two hours and you know, they're supposed to be like transferring me to some higher up, blah, blah, blah. Next thing I know, the same guy that tried to get me to um, take the load cheaper, he answers the phone. And I'm like, hey, is this the manager? He's like, well, no, I'm actually, I'm actually the first guy you talk to. I'm like, the first guy? He's like, yeah, the one that you're mad at. I'm like, oh. They transferred me back to you, you fucking moron. And, uh, are we done in this box? I think so. And, uh, basically told me I would never be able to talk to a manager and put in a complaint for him because, um, they, they just wouldn't allow it. They were, they were just going to trans, they were going to transfer me back to him every time. And he wanted to work something out with me. I'm like, no, dude, absolutely not. I said, I, I, I'm done. I'm done working with you. I'm done working with TQL. I will never pull for you guys again. Something along those lines. I don't know. It's been a while. Don't, don't quote me on it. So, anyways, I need to find uh, find me a zippy tie laying around here. They've got a million of them. See if I can zippy tie this uh, red flag on the back of this thing. So, anyways, that's the load. We're going to uh, clean up some stuff, and then we'll uh, we'll head to Indiana. I'm not sure how far we'll make it tonight. I think I have about three hours left on the clock. Um, it ended up being like a three and a half hour deadhead here because, oh, is this a good zippy tie? Yeah, yeah. So this place was only like maybe an hour from, from our first drop this morning, which our first drop was supposed to be our last drop. But because they said that they don't unload trucks on Friday and the broker was supposed to know that, blah 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 we had to drop them first because they said if i get got there at 10 o'clock before 10 o'clock that i would uh they would go ahead and unload me so we made them first end up running over to lombard drop that one and then we had to deadhead basically all the way back through charleston and uh we're over here now um i don't know if i'll tell you guys where i'm at now i might have to go back and bleep all that out since i shown you how poor the quality is on these things i don't need uh 
I don't need you guys going and getting people in trouble or anything, but I mean, that's pretty bad. It's not just this one. I got up and checked the top on and it's like, man, I don't know. Anyways, let me go. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, we've stopped to get us something to eat in, uh, I think it's called Waynesville, North Carolina. Lita found this uh, little cafe place. It's called the 209 what is it the 209 209 Haywood Haywood cafe. man look at that view that is beautiful oh they got all those vines like we have uh, over by the car trailer oh we go straight down to a, a river oh yeah that's pretty uh, that's a shame somebody threw a bunch of trash down. <gasps> Look at that beaver! There's a beaver down there. Is Going through. River? It was up in these weeds. Oh, yeah? You'll have to see it when uh, I post the video. Yeah. yeah, there was a big old beaver right there. Oh, there's a uh, hummingbird that just landed in that tree. Wow, there's all kinds of wildlife over here, huh? Man, that's awesome though. Someone's got a house over there and they get to view this. Yeah, dude, that was a big old fat hairy beaver. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm being for real. Do you not have to use the potty? All right, guys, let me uh, walk this dog. We're not gonna stay here tonight. We're going to, uh, I think we got like two hours left. Two and a half hours, maybe. Do you wanna go over here to this grass? And uh, I don't know where we'll end up, but I wanna try to push it tonight. Maybe I can sleep in a little bit in the morning. I was gonna go try to see grandma, but uh, it, did, it didn't take me, it, it didn't take me anywhere near. So I gotta get over there and see her. And um, the biggest issue is finding somewhere to park over by her. So, anyways, all right, see you later. Well, that sucks. Looks like they, uh, they had too many COVID cases in their restaurant, so they, uh, I didn't read it all. I think my face is a little dirty here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they, uh, did you read the sign? I didn't read the sign. I mean, Some guy standing there. Shut down because they said they had too many COVID cases. That's a bummer. Well, now where? I guess we could see. Man, we got the generator, the APU going, and everything, huh? Guess I should check these chains while we're here one more time. One more try. We are at, uh, it's called the 440. We just came into Tennessee not long ago. It's the 440 truck stop. And, uh, I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of trucks here. Hopefully they got some food going. Man, these, um, these four by fours keep sliding out. I can't really get up there and tighten that thing down really good. Maybe I'll get that after dinner. I think we're gonna end up sleeping here though. Because we've only got like an hour and a half left on the clock. 
and uh, there's there's no point in just driving a, another hour and a half and I think these tires are trying to turn on me here I don't think they're quite straight man that's a pretty view huh look at that um, so I end up sending my drone off uh, I did it right before we left so hopefully we'll have that back and working soon so I can start getting some cool drone shots again you know look at this thing now I don't know what that is I'm not privy on all the uh, engines I'm sure one of you guys will know. I could probably climb up there and look at that sticker, but I'm too lazy to do that. I'm sure this isn't like a big engine like they'd put in a semi. Since it's just an RV, I could be wrong though, I don't know. Vehicle emissions. I don't know, I don't know what it is, it's a, it's a red engine. Look, they've already got like scrapes and stuff on this filter. Who knows? Are you hungry? Did you lock the door? I'm kind of crooked. <laughs> 